Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to showcase the advanced reporting that Magento includes uh, by default uh, from Magento 2.2.2. Um, so they have a few different products. Um, one is the kind of basic one, the free one, which they call advanced reporting, uh, which comes in and is showcased on the dashboard. And then they have some additional ones starting from about $100 a month and going from there. Um, I actually have not uh, played around with the paid service yet. I will and do uh, some videos in the future, but right now this is the kind of free uh, basic one. So what are, what, what are advanced reports? Uh, advanced reports are um, basically Magento about two years ago, 2016, uh, purchased RJ Metrics and they kind of incorporated it into their own, uh, in, own system, into Magento. Um, and uh, of course with, uh, with commerce, with enterprise, um, kind of including that with more more services. So uh, what is it? So once you enable this on your system, um, you're going to be able to send every day your sales and customer and order information to RJ Metrics to Magento, and then you'll be able to see some basic uh, configuration or basic reports. So if you click here, right here, after you have the latest Magento, you're going to go to excuse me to something that looks like this, right? Um, so this is kind of you know my, my own page um, and the free reports are very very basic but they have some some nice uh, features and some very basic ones so number one it's visual right um, so if you're familiar with Google Analytics you're always going to want first of all to filter the time frame um, and the store views themselves that you have attached um, there's not really in the free version there's really not too much you can do you have to choose these you can't select a specific time frame you just have these features okay um, so I select the last year and this is a test site so there's not too much data um, so what kind of data do we have so the data splits up into orders customers and products and you can see some of the same data you have in the basic magenta reports and some additional ones okay so revenue for example you have a nice chart nice graph excuse me uh, revenue by status right you'll be able to to hover over a specific bar and uh, be able to see kind of that data, right? So pending and processing, etc. And uh, refunds, right? Orders, orders by status, etc. Tax collected, average order value, which is a nice one to have. Uh, this is kind of an add-on. Shipment collected, and then by region and shipping fees, right? And coupons used. So this is kind of taking and making a dashboard on top of the existing Magento reports, plus adding, you know, something like the the average order value. Okay, um, so let's look at the customers tab. Um, so again, unique customers, registered customers, and uh, customer KPI uh, table. Okay, so this is kind of customer one, customer two, etc. Right, so you can kind of see who are your most valuable customers. Now, um, there's no export, <coughs> excuse me, export or anything. Um, everything is just basic for visuals to get a concept, of course, in the free free version. Okay, and then products, right? Products sold. Uh, wish list is not plugged in to my test site right now, so there's no real data here. Best selling products by revenue and by quantity. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it, it's really basic, it gives a nice visual. Um, other than that, you know, the free version, uh, that, that's what you get pretty much. So uh, in the future, I'm going to make a video for paid services. We'll plug in some of our uh, production accounts and get real data. Um, and kind of show you that. So just one last thing about uh, how do you configure it, right? So you're going to go to stores and configuration right here and going to go to the general tab and advanced reporting. So if you have a new site or you haven't configured it, you're going to go to advanced reporting, enable it, specify what time you want to send the data to RJ Matrix, or of course if you don't want to, you can disable. And then also select the industry that you're in for, for them gathering data, providing potentially future uh, better data and maybe kind of sharing, um, you know, anonymous data between all, all industries. Um, so that's basically it. You save it, you refresh cache, you wait a little bit till the next time it's supposed to sync. That's it. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'll create some more about the uh, the kind of pro accounts, the extra accounts, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, appreciate it.